Hello everyone and welcome to this quick little video where we're going to be discussing the new rat generators, talking about some of the other things we have going on, and discussing what's upcoming. Now if you're not already, make sure you're following my Discord server. The link is above. The Discord server is where things like this kind of materialize. It's where people make suggestions, I talk with them, they give feedback, there's special server chat rooms where there's testing, so make sure you're in there, link is above. Now this is something that's been requested heavily, especially since the 4 generator, the big one right there, has been on the roof of the Oma Diving Academy. So now people have been re asking for a release. The truck over here actually is released and we'll get to that last. But in essence, there's three different types of generators and they're called the RAT U-Gen. The U stands for unit, as in rooftop unit. It's not a mobile generator, it is a fixed generator, unless it's mounted on a truck, like over there. So the difference between it, th these guys, is that this is a U-Gen 1, this is a U-Gen 2, and this is a U-Gen 4. So they have different number of generators inside. And by generators, it is a medium-sized engine. Now what is cool to note is that each one of these is pretty much the same with the exception that there's just a different number of generators. What I mean by, to say by that is each generator, so in this case there's two generators, has its own battery and each generator can be disabled and I'll explain that in a second. So the very simple one here, the U-Gen 1, there is one medium engine here. You have RPS, temperature and battery you have a manual start. This button automatically comes toggled and it just says start automatically when low battery. And here you have a power. Here you also have a valve to cut the fuel and you see there is some little fuel tanks here. Note, these tanks are only for priming the engines. They will run out of fuel very fast. So this is a unit, meaning it has to have an external source. So you either could plug it in via tank and plug it in with a hose or Back here I left a pipe connector, so if you build it onto your ship or building or creation you could just have a pipe running into it right there and you don't need to have a hose connecting it. Of course the hose can be used to refill the small tanks, they will waste very fast as I said. So what you can do is in this case we have a good amount of battery so it's not going to start by itself but you could manually start it. And here you have some cables so you could plug them in here and attach to whatever you need to sort of power or charge up. Obviously if you cut the power and if you cut the fuel valve, it will stop. But right now it's going and there we have it. Now it's worthwhile to explain in here, the power didn't stop it because the power is only connected to the battery. So once the motor is on, it no longer needs the battery and it will keep running. That's why you need to cut the fuel valve. But if you turn this power off, you will indeed limit or not allow the engine to start over because of there's, there's no starter. Now, what this item does here, the circuit breaker with power out, it will enable power to your electrical nodes that you can you know charge vehicles or your building. But also the idea is that if you were to have this on your building, this power out is what you'd actually connect to your building. So if you have a circuit breaker or a switch box in your building, this is where it'd be connected and this is your power out. A is always the hotline in my creations, hot meaning the one that gets power and B is the one that you turn on with your breaker. So all of them are repeated of this. In this case, you have two generators. And the nice thing is, like I said, you don't have to have them both start. If your battery's low, you could have one starting. And in this case, you could also manually start, but each one does have its own little fuel tank and have its own battery. Same thing here. So this is a four generator unit. And likewise, it has four generators with independent systems. That's what I'm trying to say, independent systems. Now, because this is the biggest one, you actually have pipe connectors on either end and they charge and fuel up all of the 
generators in this unit, so you only need one. You don't need to connect both, I just left both for convenience. And that's the same reason I have the connectors on either side. Either one could be used for both, and then here you have your cables. I didn't put anything on the back, just the access, but they are pretty nifty units. Unfortunately, they're not the size of a container, like even this big one, even though it has the lifting lugs on the top, it's not the size of a container, it's actually a little smaller, and that was intentional. Uh, I could, I may make one the size of an exact container in the future, but I didn't want it to be that big. With that little pad, I mean, that's supposed to be a concrete curb, but I guess I could probably add connectors for the big one and make it so you could attach it as a container. But regardless, when you're putting it in position, if you want, you could have it as a portable system and use the lifting lugs to a helicopter if you want or something like that. And lastly, we get to the truck. Standard buckle stampede unit in the front, as always, for the heavy applications. The difference with this generator is that we actually have ourselves the connectors on both sides and power out on both sides. So each one is its own unit, ind independent pretty much. And if you look here, the little priming tanks or priming fuel attaches to this big 4,000 liter tank here. I will fix this dial, uh, which with pump in and pump out functions. So you actually could siphon fuel if need be. We plug it into here and let's pump out. Well, actually, the, all they all were full, so you can't right now. But pretty much what you do is you could pump up this 4,000 liter and this truck is intended to work by itself. You don't have to have it plugged in with a pipe or with the cable or sorry, the hose. It's going on its own. As you can see, it does use fuel pretty fast, but it also does produce a good amount of power, which is valuable when you're charging up equipment, for example. So there you have it. These are the four rat generators that are coming out soon. In the case of the truck, it's already out. The other ones will come out soon, and I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Make sure you join the Discord server. We have lots of good things to talk about. And what I will drop by is saying that I am working on a specific ship for the new oil spill update. And I'm so excited to present it to you, so make sure you follow. And as always, happy Stormworks in.